Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm not going to be showing you a song, okay? I'm just going to talk for just a minute about this coronavirus and what it has done to our life, uh, to my life personally. So, um, I'm a public school teacher. I teach high school Spanish and I love it. Love my students. And guitar is something I do afterwards just as a release and it's a lot of fun for me. It's a lot of work to put up songs. I try to put up I try to average one per week or four per month, however my month unfolds. <laughs> but anyway, this month it has unfolded in such a crazy way that I have not been able to even focus on guitar because our public school system closed down and they wanted us to teach online. I don't know how to do that. And so I've had to learn a new program and that has been super difficult for me because I'm I'm not a spring chicken anyway. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what a spring chicken is, it means what you are, young. I'm not young. <laughs> and so I've had to, I've been up till probably two in the morning almost every night last week. One night it was four, 4 a.m. And I think I got to bed about one o'clock once last night, or last week. And I've just been trying to learn this program and figuring out how to post assignments online and how to video myself and put that up there through their website. I know how to do it through this, but this has been a different way to do it. And so I've had to learn you know, this new website and how to post things. And then of course I'm getting hundreds of emails from parents and students saying, I can't get on and what about this? And it's not working. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to help you with technology on your end. And so it's just been, and I'm talking to different people and experts trying to figure this stuff out. So I really apologize, but I have not been able to get any songs up. Oh, I wanted to show you what I've done to my music room. My beautiful music room has turned. I'm going to just grab my camera here, which I never do. But I'm going to grab my camera and I'm going to show you. This is my music room. It's not very big, but um, I've got a piano there that I have now turned into. I propped a whiteboard up so that I can teach stuff. I've got my school computer here that I brought home along with my home computer and all these sticky notes. There's my electric guitar and there's my home guitar in the back. It's just been crazy. Anyway, so I'm going to walk back around so I can finish talking. So I just am asking for a little bit of patience um, I just because I just don't know what the rest of this month is going to hold. I, my goal, I, again, is trying to get up for a month and I'm not gonna get for a month up this month, I can tell you right now. But um, anyway, just be patient. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm just overwhelmed with all that I have to do as a public school teacher. But I love my job, I love my kids, but I love guitar too. So um, I wanted to just share a couple little things that we've noticed that were helping in the neighborhood and just, um, just kind of keeping an eye out. We've got an elderly gentleman who lives just a, a street away or so that um, his wife passed away a few years ago and we are all taking turns bringing him dinner because he just doesn't do much cooking. He usually goes out to eat. So they said, can you just fix an extra plate of food for him? And we're all rotating, bringing him an extra plate of food each day so that he can, you know, still have something to eat other than peanut butter and jelly because he really, he's probably 80 or something or 70. I don't know what he is. Well, no, he's probably 80. Anyway, and um, so we're just trying to help him. We're keeping out, making sure, sharing. Do you need sugar and, you know, a little flour, a little toilet paper? Who knew toilet paper would be the hot commodity? Oh, we all need to stock up. Anyway, after this is over, it just keeps him up in our attic. All right. So it's been interesting. I hope you guys are doing well and that you're staying in and not getting sick. That's the most important thing. We've got to get through this and I will try to get some songs up just as soon as I can. I just am asking for a little patience um, in this crazy, crazy time of our, of our nation's history right now. Okay. And the world, the world's history. So, all right. Thank you for tuning in and I appreciate your support and I'm just asking for a little patience. I hope you are well. All right. Thank you.